Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you YOLO 12 with C++, how to use it in C++. Um, actually, the first thing is to do is just getting the model. By the way, uh, lastly, if I'm not wrong, I showed how to use YOLO 9. So uh, if you didn't watch, I suggest you to watch that first. And here are the models what, what, which we need and it's going from the lightest model to the heaviest one. Uh, if you choose the lightest one, you are gonna uh, lose from accuracy side. If you're using this one, maybe you will lose speed according to your hardware. So there is a trade-off between accuracy and speed always. And uh, I just chose the medium one, so I'm gonna show the result of that one in this video. And I already downloaded it and uh, we can switch to the code part. Uh, this is the code um, I already prepared. It's just a hundred line of code. I will explain before switching to that one. Uh, this is the uh, YOLO 9 uh, C++ code. Actually, uh, many people requested this one, so I already sent them. Also, there were requests related to the YOLO 12, so that's why I'm making this video. Um, in here, we uh, basically what we were doing, the, the complicated part was the detect part so because uh, also the reason I'm making this video is mostly because of here because they were always changing the format so yeah so uh, you need to watch that video to understand here clearly and uh, but to see the result again let's see you see this was showing just me yeah this is currently running with CPU if I'm not wrong yeah it's CPU but um, I suggest you, especially if you are working with the heaviest model, I suggest you to use CUDA if you have GPU. Then also you can watch my uh, CUDA installation video to to handle at all. Yeah. In here, uh, the code was mostly is gonna be same. I'm I will only modify the detect function. The rest of the code is gonna be same with the YOLO 9 model. Okay. Um, so the structure in here, uh, there is a build folder which is not really important for you. Um, LipTorch, I firstly also gave it a try to run with LipTorch but currently I'm not available. So once I got success in that, I will show you also how, because this is a direct usage of the um, PyTorch model framework. So currently I'm again converting um, PyTorch model to Onyx format then after that I'm using for YOLO 12 um, okay so here what we have uh, I already downloaded the other one but currently I'm using this one so it cannot open PyTorch of course but the converter was the most important one here all we need to do is just running uh, Python 3 and uh, um, just calling this converter Python uh, code and it's gonna create the I already created but it's okay so it's gonna create faster the this uh, onyx format of the YOLO 12 only thing maybe in here important again I need to give you my pip list because if there is some uh, version conflicts it's not gonna give you the correct format or a working format of the onyx model okay so here I'm going faster you can stop and check my mostly the most important one again um, torch models which is in um, where is that apps yeah here um, okay yeah these torch and torch regions versions are most important and also my um, kudo version is 12.2 uh, so if you are curious yeah the, with this uh, with this installation is working fine and uh, okay so we already got our onyx model so we can close here nothing else to do in this part uh, the also my cmake list uh, nothing i'm just including open cv libraries also i um i attach liptorch libraries but currently i'm not using so just do not uh, ignore that part main cpp we can come here as i said uh the code is totally same with the YOLO 9 video so this part is just I'm getting the coca name list which is from uh, active object names including and here um, we are uh, we are deciding which we are loading the model onyx model according to our uh, is CUDA or not so if it's CUDA we are using CUDA backend otherwise we are using CPU backend and the tech part is the most important one um, um so i suggest you to watch yolo 9 video again because these parts um i will not explain again uh 
these are just x uh, this is a um, this is giving a three-dimensional matrix output this outputs which is first of all I'm removing the batch uh, batch column in here so there is only two left which is uh, which is the 84 value for the uh, four points of the boxes and also the uh, uh, the, the the rest active value is for the um, score for each object and the the rest all coming the same just uh, because the yola is not giving you only one box output it's giving you um active force so of one one thousand many boxes is giving so this rows is keeping those many boxes so in from those we are choosing the best one for us so according to our score threshold so yeah that's it and here we are uh we are iterating the data dimension is i think yeah in here dimension is 40 84 so you need to check yolo 9 video for that in here the most important one which is different i also don't understand because they do not give um do not give an appropriate documentation for this format because they are always changing so i don't understand so previously uh, this data zeros was all uh float values between zero and one now uh they change it into direct values what i mean is um for example if i just yeah, by the way we are scaling in it in here this model shape is 640 to 640 which is uh, required in here and uh, what we were doing since our uh, your uh, screen resolution can be different so we are just adapting the scale that's it but here what i want to mention it that uh, see out x and y i think okay let's make also width and height okay i don't know is this done let's do this and yeah okay what we need to do is just um make first of all and run it okay so uh before talking about here let's focus to these values you see now the values are the exact one which is also i like it's good they are giving instead of we are dealing those flawed things but i don't know they yeah it's just annoying they are always changing the format so we need to figure it out by ourselves anyway um let's run it again currently this is running with the gpu i think because i gave the load net as true and uh yeah it's detecting very well okay uh yeah it's detecting cup but not really good okay what about phone remote it's not a remote maybe it's also related to i'm using medium model toothbrush oh that's great anyway um this um yolo uh yolo yolo 12 uh what's news in here actually this is um this is an array attention model they are calling so uh it's focusing to the major part of each frame by this they are getting accuracy increase also they are getting uh speed increase so these two things they are earning by just getting area attention uh logic and maybe in another video we can focus this yolo 12 uh differences with other yolo two models but they are I, 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 according to my readings i i noticed that this is uh best like always the new versions they are always uh telling is the best one but yeah let's see and whoever uh, really need this code then i can also send to them uh even nothing in here much uh just email to me i will send to you and for this video maybe i i, I put this to my github page so you can get it and for this video i'm done thanks for watching see you in the next videos